everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library and today we're talking about science! Yay! Now in case you can't tell, I'm not actually at the library right now, I'm actually at my house and it's just after sunup on Monday, February 8th. We knew that this weekend it was going to get really, really cold, so me and my friends at the library decided to do something a little bit different for our science this month, and we decided to do an experiment at home. So what I did was I filled up some balloons with food coloring and with water, and then I set them out overnight last night to see if they would freeze. I heard you could make ice marbles, and I wanted to give it a try. So we're gonna go outside right now onto my little back patio and we're going to see what happened with my water balloons. Let's go take a look. Hello, we are outside now and we are going to see what happens when we unwrap my other water balloons. I already did one. This is my purple one. As you can see, it turned out pretty well. Whoop. Stick into the paper towel there. You can see where the bottom kind of stuck in the bowl and matched the shape of the bowl. And you can see this really cool air bubble where it didn't quite completely freeze all the way solid. But other than that, it came out pretty neat. So let's see what happens with my other water balloons. Let's see if they made marbles too. I don't know which color's which. I don't remember which order I put these out here in. If you do this at home, make sure you wear gloves. You definitely don't wanna touch the ice with your bare hands. That would really hurt. It's all, it's all smooth and shiny. I think this was the, one of them should be blue and one of them should be green. Oh no! That one did not freeze solid. Ah, oh no! <laughs> so the cool thing about science in experiments is that there's no such thing as failure. The whole point is to see what happens. And now we know what happens when the water balloon does not, the water marble does not freeze solid. We know it just pours out when you pour it out. Oh, it's all slushy snorshy. All right, I'm gonna stick that back in the bowl. Pour that out. I'm gonna let it keep trying to freeze actually is what I'm going to do. Maybe when I come home this afternoon it will be frozen, who knows. And I didn't get wet. I got out of the way in time. I'm gonna call that a success. Well that was unexpected. I wonder how this one will go. Let's see. Come on. Oh, I can already see a lot of air bubbles like that. I think this one might be more like number two. Might be more like this one than that one. What do you think? Anybody at home have a prediction? Let's see. If I pick it up, is it gonna be frozen like this one? Or is it gonna be chipped ice like that one? Let's see. Oh no, that one's leaky too. Flip it upside down. Well, that's interesting. 
I wonder why this one worked. I wonder why the purple one worked and the other two didn't. I wonder if it's because the purple one was farther away from my house. I wonder if these ones were too close to my house or something. And so they weren't able to freeze all the way solid. They've been out here since about five o'clock last night. So that's interesting. So one of them worked, two of them didn't completely quite work all the way. Though it is kind of cool that there's an ice shell with dyed water moving around in the inside. I think that's pretty neat. Eh, how about that? Anyway, next time there's a really cold night. If you want to give this a shot at your place, we'd love to see your results. Maybe you'll get more frozen balloons than we did. That would be cool to see. And remember, there's no such thing as a failure in science. You just learn things that don't work. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you next time.